sorry, eighth graders. Forgot to hit one extra button there. Uh, so we are moving on to lessons seven and eight. Um, both our lessons this week are going to be uh, two lessons combined. And then Thursday, like last week, we'll review it all. Um, the reason we're combining them is because they really do go together. So lesson seven is sequencing translations. Lesson eight, sequencing reflections and translations. So what does sequencing mean? Well, it means like one after another. So it'd be like one translation after another or one reflection and then translation and so on. So let's take a look. So we want to translate point P right here along vector FG, then translate it along vector AB. And actually we're gonna do it the opposite way, sorry. So first translate along vector AB, then along FG, okay? So first we translate it along AB, so we just move it. Easy enough. Now we're gonna translate it along vector FG. So it gets moved up, and it could just get moved to here too, doesn't matter. So along vector FG. So we just translated it twice, creating a sequence of translations, okay? So let's try another one. It says translate angle ABC, a, B, C, along vector E, F, then along vector U, V. So we translate A, B, C, and notice these little hash marks. That's indicating um, that it's not the original. So we have one hash mark for the second translate, or for the first translation, and then two hash marks here for our next translation. Basically stating like it's a copy, okay? Excuse me. So we have a cross or along a EF, excuse me, I'm sorry, and then along UV, okay? So we sequence the translations because then we can translate an image back to its original spot. So the sun says translate triangle ABC along vector ST. So we have ABC, we translated it. Now we want to translate it a back to its original spot. And I apologize, that should be an S, not a T, an L. I am horrible at typing today, I guess. So now we translated it. So it basically just went back to the same spot, but it's a translation of now ABC here. So it has those two hash marks. And notice that the vector actually flip-flopped because we're going backwards, okay? Now what about reflections? That was the second part. It says reflect figure A across line N. Easy enough, remember that it's basically like if we folded it in half, and it actually should be just a little bit to the right, sorry about that. Um, if we folded it in half, they would basically just lay over each other. So we have C and C on the inside, E and E. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. E and E on the inside, and then we have B and B and D and D on the inside, okay? So it says, what happens if we would translate figure A and then reflect it again? Well, if we translate it along N, that means we're moving it, and then we reflect it, it's not going to be in the exact same spot that this one started in, because we moved it first. Okay? So now this says, determine which happened first the translation or the reflection. Now, we can tell by one where the reflection is, but two by the hash marks. So here we translated, then we reflected. So the translation happened first. Go ahead and do this one on your own, and then we'll talk about your assignment. So here we reflect, and then we translate. So reflection happened first in this case. So your assignment is to work on the Edmodo questions for lessons seven and eight. Um, a lot of it is going to be just what we just looked at, which one happened first, the translation or the reflection. So you're gonna wanna look first where the reflection is, but also um, at those hash marks. And then the other part of it is going to be um, indicating which vector it was translated along. So here we had this one translated along EF, and this one was along UV, okay? So you're gonna determine which vector 
um, the figure was translated it on. Okay. If you have any questions, let me know. If you want to work on extra problems before doing the assignment or whatever it is, please let me know. Um, I'm happy to help. And then, like I already said, Thursday we'll work on reviewing it too. So, questions, let me know. Otherwise, have a happy Tuesday.